go to another panelist now and get another perspective on that. And this is Jason Koo. Jason is the Director of Research and Development at Schnitzer Steel. And he has a, a good deal of first-hand experience in using this to increase efficiencies where he works. How have you used Ignition to improve efficiencies at your, at your company, at your organization? Thanks, Don. I think it's probably best if I give a, a quick background in terms of uh, the company and what we're doing with Ignition. We're, we're probably one of the newer users. Our business is scrap metal recycling. Um, before we had Ignition, I mean, we had the luxury that we didn't have a legacy system that we were going to replace, and we were looking for a solution for availability. We want to be able to track our downtime and be able to do analysis uh, and our production. So we did uh, an evaluation. Um, this made sense uh, to go with the Ignition platform. So we implemented it, um, and what we were replacing at the time was spreadsheets and clipboards is really what we did for our production. Um, on the financial side of the business, we've got the ERP systems, we've got the major finance and inventory, but for the actual day-to-day -day production numbers, everything was radio to be written down on a piece of paper to be handed to a manager, implemented or input into a spreadsheet. So we took uh, the Ignition uh, platform, we implemented OEE um, to do our downtime analysis and collect that data in real time. What we were able to do with the um, OEE and the SPC in particular is we had for the first time the ability to integrate production data, how much we're producing with our sampling data, how much is going to the landfill, how much is, um, what are the quality of our products, what is our recovery efficiencies. So if I look at the, uh, and the question really was about, you know, what has it done to improve efficiencies? Um, the time, it's now given us time um, throughout the organization and in production to actually analyze the data, whereas before we would spend so much time collecting data, inputting data into various spreadsheets or other production systems, the data is already going in. The sampling person doesn't put it in a spreadsheet on a piece of paper. She enters it directly into SPC. Production data is entered directly in through the OEE. So you can come up with a dashboard every day and say, how did I do last night? How did I do in the last ship? How does that trend across the last month compared to the year before? How does it compare between night shift and day shift? We can also say we've got better quality of data now because our entries are validated as they go in. Uh, we can write little scripts in Python or, or whatever just to say, like, you know, that number doesn't make sense. Um, but more importantly, what we can do here is that if somebody puts in, if a downtime event occurs and a person doesn't actually, you know, put in the right information or sort of overwrite it that a PLC said that this bit failed and they have to say what the actual reason is, they can see instantly at the end of a shift and say, John, you know, what actually happened there or how did you fix it? Before, with the old manual way of collecting data, it might be like a month later where a person says, what were these two hours for? That makes a huge difference if you're talking about understanding what a, what a downtime event, how it occurred in real time versus months later trying to recall what happened. Not only can you not recall it probably like you're saying there, but also um, you got a month's worth of error that can be added on top of that before you get any answers.